Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do kind of a haul video. Um, I did get quite a few new drugstore products as well as some products from Sephora. So it's just like a mixed haul, just kind of what I got the last few weeks and I wanted to share them with you. Um, I will say I did get quite a few new brushes, but I'm only going to share one with you just because it is the one that stood out to me the most this month, the one that I've been loving, and so yeah, I'm not going to bore you with a brush haul. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I am going to start with my um, drugstore products just so you can see those and get them out of the way, and then we'll go on to more high-end products. So the first thing that I got is a Wet n Wild bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. And this is super, super light, but I saw um, Kathleen Lights using it as a highlight in her, one of her videos. And it was only like three bucks, so I figured I might as well give that a try. Um, it's a nice, like, kind of milky um, shade. And it does, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it does have like a pretty luminous finish um, that is really nice. So I got this, and again, that was Reserve Your Cabana. Alright, and then I got another um, Wet n Wild bronzer, and this one is Ticket to Brazil. It is um, the same thing, it's just a bit darker, and I really like this one because it does have that more bronze look and it does have a light shimmer as well. I will show you both of them together. Um, so this one's Reserve Your Cabana and this one is um, Ticket to Brazil. Alright, so since we're kind of on a wet and wild streak. I'll just show you the other two products I got from them. Um, this first one, um, both of them are lip liners, but um, this first one is in the shade Willow, and it is just kind of a dark tone. I'll show you. So that is Willow right there, and it's kind of a um, pinky toned brown is how I would describe it, like a really dark nude. Um, I really, really like it. I think it's um, going to be a great color for everyday kind of colors. Um, it's really beautiful, and their lip liners are only 99 cents. Like, you can't beat that. So then I got the Wet n Wild one, and it is in Brandy Wine. And I am wearing this one today with um, Cocoa Bean Lip Gloss from Drag Cosmetics over top of it. Um, I really, really like the combination a lot more than I thought, but this color is beautiful. It is this one right here. It is just like a dark wine color. Um, it's not red. It's more brown tone, but it is really, really beautiful. I really like it. It's probably my new favorite lip liner at the moment, and I really like this combination, like I said, so... Alright, so the next I got the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, 24 Hour Eyeshadow something in, anyway, it's in, it's in Bad to the Bronze. Um, it looks like this and inside it's just a cream um, shadow. Um, I am wearing it today, but I have some colors over top. I'm just using it as a base. But there it is. It's just a bronzy, it's a light bronze um, kind of eyeshadow color. I really do like it. I think it'll be beautiful, and it'll create a lot of really simple kind of walk-out-the-door looks um, and just make it super easy. So The next, I finally picked up the uh, Maybelline Fit Me in dewy and smooth and this one is for normal to dry skin it's the dewy one obviously and I got mine in ivory 115 ivory so um yeah I did try this um this morning before I actually like went in and did my makeup I just like put this on to kind of get an idea of what it was like and to see if it even matched my skin tone so I do like this so far like I said I just literally put on my skin to 
do it but um i do really like it so far um the look of it it was really nice and it is my skin tone so i'm very happy about that but yeah this is in ivory all right so this is not from the drugstore but people do consider them drugstore products so this is a morphe um it's the 9b palette um, so you saw that I did use it in that video. It is just a blush palette. It looks like this. Um, it's very simple. Um, it's got such a nice variety of colors. Um, I am holding it upside down, so what would be the bottom is here. But um, it's such a nice variety. It's got um, this color, this line up here. I would consider more for darker tones because. These are incredibly pigmented. I mean, what you see is what you get, um, no matter what amount. Like, in my video, I dipped it in there, and then I had to kind of brush it off with my finger before even putting it on my cheeks because it's so intense. Um, but I love it. I'm not complaining. Um, this top row and kind of the middle row as well, I would more so suggest for um, darker skin tones, um, medium to dark skin tones, just because they are really pigmented and these are darker shades. And then this bottom row as well as the middle row would be for kind of light to medium, but obviously you can play it up how you want. That's just how I kind of envision them basing it for, just because of how they are. I will swatch a couple just to show how pigmented they are. So that is the middle color. Um, here's kind of the peach color right there. It is very pigmented, very orangey. Um, there's like a dusty rose color. Like I said, I don't know. They're just like super, super pigmented, very beautiful. Um, I'm very happy with it, and it was only like 15 or $20. I don't know, but that's really great for how much product you're getting and... Anyway, okay, so lastly from the drugstore, it is a skincare product, and the reason I'm sharing this is because I'm just really excited about it. Um, so this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Booster Facial Cleanser with white tea and vitamin E, and I actually, we were at um, the drugstore, and my boyfriend generally tells me like to pick out his facial cleansers because he really doesn't care and he doesn't want like super expensive ones so hello okay I don't remember where I was at Okay, well, whenever um, me and Andrew are at the drugstore, he always tells me to pick out his um, facial cleanser or, like, kind of help pick it out. And generally, I just kind of grab one and whatever one kind of, like, looks most appealing at the moment. And that's the one that he uses. Um, and generally, it's just like, I mean, obviously, I have my own skincare routine, so that's his face wash. But whenever we were in the aisle, there was like all these products and that one just like sucked me in. Like I was like, ooh, I want to try that so bad. And I got it for him, but I got it with the intentions of like trying it myself because like, <clears throat> gosh, because like I said, it did like draw me in and I'm really excited to try it. So it does look like this. Um, these are just like air bubbles they're not like beads or anything but um it looks like this and I'm really excited it smells super super good but yeah so we got this <laughs> so now for high-end product oh actually I have a brush um so like I said I did go like nuts with brushes um they were all Morphe brushes but I still went nuts and I I haven't even tried all of them. I mean, I just... I have the hiccups now. <sighs> I tried, like, all my brushes um, that I've got because it was just, like, not even that long ago that I got them all. But, um, I have tried a few, and out of all of them, like, this one stood out to me so much because 
as most of you know, or maybe you don't know, but you're going to know, um, my, where is it? My favorite, favorite brush of all time, like my favorite brush, like if I had to choose one brush to do my eye makeup forever with, I would choose this one. And it is the Sigma E25 blending brush. And I love this brush. This is like my holy grail brush. It's actually like my holy grail everything. I don't know. I just love it. But this brush is like its best friend. Like, I wouldn't say it's better than it, but I would not say it's like below it. But they're so different that um, they're like, you just need both of them forever. Like, oh gosh. This is the um, Morphe M322, and as you can see, it's just like a fluffy, small, like, rounded brush, and it's not like, like, here's the um, Sigma E40, and it's like, I mean, it's small. It's a smaller brush, but it is so great um, for blending, for putting color in the crease, for kind of smoking things out. It's so amazing. And these two brushes together, like, obviously they are super different, and together they are amazing. I mean, I can rave about it forever, but that's all I'm going to say about it because you guys are probably like, okay, we get it. But they're great. Okay. So, now on to high-end products. I am going to start with my eye palettes and just kind of work my way out from there. So, the first palette I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. And it looks like this. This palette has been all over um, YouTube, all over the internet. And, yeah, it definitely definitely deserves the hype. Um, I really, really love it. I actually love it more than I initially thought I would. Um, just, I don't know, it's just so great. Um, I did my eye makeup look using this palette today. I don't even know if you can, like, tell. I just did a simple look, obviously, but, um, I did use it today, and I have been grabbing for this since I got it. Um, so I will just show you... Oops. I'll just show you the inside here. Um, all the colors are incredible, especially this section and this one right up there. Um, all of them are incredible. All of them are so pigmented, like way more pigmented than I thought. Um, they're all super nice quality, super great colors. Um, they did a wonderful job picking out all of the colors for this palette. And yeah, it comes with a little brush, which is actually really neat. It's kind of got more of a fluffy kind of pencil brush up there and then a fluffy blending brush down here which is really nice um but yeah this palette is great I highly recommend it to anyone um it's only $30 like like they could easily go for like 65 but it's only $30 and I really love it so I got that so next I got the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Um, I've been wanting this palette for a long time and I finally got it. So it looks like this. Um, this one is another one that's being raved about like no tomorrow. It is um, heavy. I mean like I feel like I could just like throw this around and it would never break. It's really like heavy duty even though it is the cardboardy kind of material feeling. I don't know. I don't know what it's made of, but it's really great. So I love, especially this color, love the t cooler tone part of this. I actually, whenever I first used this, I didn't even like try the warm tones first. I was like drawn immediately to this middle section here. Um, it's got a great variety of colors, a really great variety. You've got your neutrals, you got your cool tones, and then you got your warm tones. Um, so it's really awesome how she did that and incorporated it for everyone. So no matter what your taste is, you can use this. And then there is all of, like also the room to kind of go out of your comfort zone and experience different kinds of looks. Um, 
So it's a really great palette. I do really love it. Um, like I said, I really, really love the cool tone part of this, even though I'm generally drawn toward warm tones, as is most people. But um, yeah, I really love it. The eyeshadow quality is amazing. Um, they're so silky and smooth. They apply really flawlessly. They blend out. They are lovely. Then I got the um, Shade and Light Contour Palette. Just because I might as well get everything from Kat Von D. And it is worth the hype. I have only tried this once, but I have no complaints thus far. Um, I did end up using this color and this color to contour. And then these two for my under eyes. And I do really like it. Like I said, the quality of these are so great. They're so silky and smooth. And they blend out like a dream. So that is the contour kit. Alright, we're almost done. Then I got more Kat Von D products. And I got some of the new colors in the liquid lipsticks. I got these three. Um, I pretty much got them kind of for fall. That was my excuse. But I really got them because I'm a lipstick junkie. So, Alright. So the first color I got is called Requiem, and it is this like soft lilac purple color, and I will swatch that for you. So there is Requiem. It is, like I said, a really soft lilac. I have worn this one, and it is beautiful on. It is a lot... Not a lot, but it's um, quite a bit lighter than I was really thinking in my head, which was really, really, honestly a nice surprise because it makes it that much more wearable. Um, you know, it's not like straight purple, but it does give off that soft lilac vibe as it says in the description. So I really, really like this one. And yeah. Then next I got um, Exorcism. And I got this one. It's a... It's, described as a black cherry which it definitely is and I got this one mainly because um I don't know I liked it on on the pictures it looked um like it had kind of some like purplish flecks in it but I don't think that it does unless I'm just like totally missing them but I don't know I really like this color I think like I said it'll be great for fall so yeah So there that is next to Requiem. Alright, so next, uh, this one is pretty bold. Um, it's not going to be for everyone. I don't even know if I'm like comfortable with it yet, but I'm really excited about it. So we'll see. But I pretty much, I got this one because I, um, it was kind of an impulse buy for one. Just because it's not like an everyday color. But... I got this because I had I follow Norvina on Instagram and um, she posts a lot of pictures of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick in the color paint and that is like a navy blue and so I've just been like really on a kick to try and find <laughs> to try and find a blue lipstick just to try and since I was like already getting like a crap ton of Kat Von D products, I was like, well, she's got this navy blue, I might as well try that. And so this is the shade Echo, and I tried this on my lips already once, and yeah, it's dark, but it is a pretty darn brilliant color. Um, it's just like a navy royal blue is like the best way I can describe it, but I don't know. I actually really, really like it, even though it's kind of a crazy color. Um, and I'm really excited to try this, like, with my makeup all done up. I just have to, like, gain the courage to, like, go out in public with this color. But I'm going to. So, last but not least, I got the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Crayon in black. Blacker, actually. Blacker, blacker. Anyway, this is just a I 
eyeliner. It's just like a waterline pencil, I guess. And I had heard a lot of great things about this. I tried to swatch it, and it pretty much just, like, came apart on my hand. I can try. Oh, now it's working. Now it's swatching. Never mind. Well, whenever I first tried to swatch this, it's, like, so thick that you have to, like, dig into it. I don't even know how to explain it. It's super, super thick and, like, gel-like. So... But whenever you put it on your waterline, I feel like since your eyes are kind of moist, like this is going to sound gross, like it's kind of moist so it kind of loosens the color and it like slides on there easier. But on your hand it's like, <sighs> I don't know. So far, I, that's the only complaint I have about it is like whenever I first watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, like you've got to be joking. But I was like, I've heard some things about it, maybe I'm just like swatching it wrong, I don't know. But I did try it. I didn't notice anything like crazy like that whenever I was actually putting on my eye. So I'm going to give it a shot before I like hate it. So that is all for my haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you got some good insight on some of the new products out. Maybe even some of the old ones. Um, but anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, also give me a thumbs up, maybe a comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.